Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek TV, and I'm sitting down with Maciej Polaszak of Bomba Games, and you brought us a beautiful game. <laughs> You're looking at me because I know you want me to say it. It's <laughs> with Vit Vit Katze. Katze. <laughs> Which I will say is beautiful. Uh, because Wit Katze was a Polish painter and we used uh, his uh, work in our game. Which I, I love that you were actually able to get the, the his, his work for real. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, this is a puzzle game with cards. Keep going! And, <laughs> uh, in this game we collect uh, cards that look something like this. You have a card and uh, the, on this side, you have parts of three different paintings. One half and two quarters. On the other side, you have uh, three parts or, of other paintings, but uh, this time they are upper parts of cards, of, of those paintings. So, this is a setup for three... This is a game for three players, because every player builds, builds his own uh, display of mm -hmm. paintings. And the object of the game is to collect as many uh, as possible completed paintings. I see, so you, you've finished one here in the yes. middle of your display. And at the end of the game, uh, each painting will be scored. And uh, they will be scored based on their popularity. So the more popular the painting, the more points it, it is worth. So, if this I finished this painting and none other player finished it, I get one point. If you would have finished this painting also, that means on the table there are two paintings, of, uh, two copies. So, I have two points and you have two points. Okay. If, if you have two copies of this painting and I have only one, each of them is worth three points, so I have three and you have six. I like the way this is going. <laughs> and each player starts a game with one card in his uh, tableau and one card in hand. In your turn, you draw a card. You can draw one card. Uh, you can draw one of three cards. Let's say I take a card from here. Then this card flips on its place. So I have seen the other side of those two cards, and if I remember them, I have a slight <laughs> advantage. Slight advantage. If 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 I do not remember them, tough luck. Uh, and I also can uh, draw this card and uh, I didn't see uh, the back of it, so it's a blind luck uh, in this, uh, but not really blind luck, because I see this is a lower half and I see, I, I know that the upper halves are on the other side, mm. so you can risk and uh, draw something you like. After you draw a card, now you have two cards in your hand. You put one of them in your collection so that your collection grows. You put a card that at least one quarter of it covers other card or goes beneath that ah. card. You can uh, match quarter of a card or, or half of a card or even three quarters. You, can, you only cannot do something like this. You add a card and your collection doesn't grow. This is prohibited. You have full freedom with uh, putting your card in the tableau. You can do even something like this. On top of one card and under the other card. Uh, and we also have something like this. Those tokens represent special actions. After drawing a card, but before playing a card, I can spend one of those tokens to use a special action once in a game. So each of those actions changes the rules of the game uh, a bit. So. In one turn in the game, I can draw two cards instead of one. In one turn in the game, I can, I can play two cards instead of one. One time in the game, I can play a card like this without growing my right. collection. I can even do it like this. Uh, I can uh, put a card in uh, uh, my opponent's uh, display. I can uh, destroy one card, but without destroying the completed picture. So, all in all, it is about looking what other players are doing. Because the more, if one copy of, uh, of let's say, this picture is completed, then it means it is harder to complete another copies. So we, um, we compete over the same thing. Mm. And we must look all the time 
for the pictures that our opponents are completing because it really matters. How many different paintings are, are in this game? Uh, there are five paintings and uh, each of them is uh, each of them has a historical note uh, in uh, our room. Oh, oh, fantastic. So art lovers are going to yes. really love this game. Yes. <laughs> How long do you think a full game would take? Uh, for all, I think about uh, 30 minutes. It uh, plays two to uh, four people and when you are playing a two player game uh, there is an advanced rules, uh, advanced uh, placing rules because when I play like this I can match, I have to match at least a quarter of a card. When I play advanced rules I have to do something like this. I start with this and let's say I would like to place this here because it matches. Right. In advanced rules, I have to match at least a half of a card. So mm -hmm. I have to sacrifice this card first to make Two. place for the card that I really it. want to play. Yeah. <laughs> and this is quite tricky. And I'm guessing the game ends when the, uh, the deck runs out? Uh, we can say that. The, the, the game ends uh, where, when uh, everyone uh, took the same uh, amount of uh, turns and uh, none, not all cards uh, come into play because you, uh, the one card is left in your hand and uh, in four player games three cards will be left here. All right. Well, I think I, I personally am a huge fan of visiting museums and, and experiencing art so this one really speaks to me and so if you guys want to check that out that is <laughs> One more time, help me out here. Vit Katze. Vit Katze from Bomba Games. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>